You're listening to the Skeptic's Guide to the Universe, your escape to reality. Uh, so first, let's do some follow-up on the, the Kansas school board situation. Uh, Kansas, not for the first time, has been um, he- having hearings about specifically whether or not to let intelligent design into science classrooms in Kansas. The Kansas School Board actually uh, wants to change the definition of science itself. Pretty bold. This has been what you know scientists have warned about for decades. Why you know teaching creationism in, in science classrooms is a bad thing because it actually degrades the entire scientific enterprise. It goes well beyond just the issue of evolution. And here they are. They're saying this is exactly what they're saying. So the, the definition that they want is, uh, they want to define science as a systematic method of continuing an investigation. Okay. Which may sound reasonable at first blush, but what they're changing it from is a, a systematic method of finding natural explanations for the world around us. Again, for those who may not know, intelligent design is the idea that the world is so complicated that it had to be have created by an intelligent designer. Who that intelligent or what that intelligent designer is, they, they do not state. But it's basically warmed over creationism. You know, as one scientist characterized it, creationism in a cheap tuxedo. Um, but they basically took the, the, the core beliefs and claims of creationism, the idea that God created the world and it is not the, the product of natural processes like evolution, and removed from it anything overtly religious like the word God. But it's essentially the same set of beliefs. It's just really evolution denial. Right. In any case, one of the, um, especially the, the lawyer Philip Johnson, uh, who is a, a, an ID proponent, and his, his basic position is that the definition of science um, only allows for naturalistic or natural explanations, and that this essentially rigs the game against religion or against supernatural explanations in an unfair way. And he, th- that line of argument has obviously been persuasive in Kansas, and the school board wants to, in fact, change the definition of science. Have you all you've heard this before? Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's an outrage. And I've had this discussion with ID proponents as well. That that is the core to their their agenda. Again, not just you know, allowing for you know, creationism in the guise of intelligent design to be taught as science, and to erode and water down and limit the teaching of evolution as much as possible. But it's, Steve, it's not just it's not just evolution, which is which is bad enough. Uh, bad enough, of course. I mean, there's other parts of science that they have explicitly a- attacked in the past, like the Kansas Board of Education in 1998. They also wanted to uh, eliminate um, statements about the Big Bang. Right, the Big and, Bang. Uh, and also facts about you know the Earth being older than 10,000 years. And the theory of plate tectonics, so it doesn't stop at evolution. It stops no, it definitely anything, does not. anything right. that, that makes that threatens their worldview. And it, that's pretty much, that's a lot of science that, that, that's going to do that. So that's sure. just like Yeah, it, basically all the historical sciences would, would fall under their sword. Um, and, but even beyond just the historical sciences, and the one that you mentioned, again, is just the very definition of science. And the, I think the key misunderstanding right. here is that it's not as it's not that scientists arbitrarily exclude non-natural explanations as you know possible scientific explanations is that science by definition cannot deal with supernatural or magical or miraculous explanations it's it's incompatible with the methods of science science can only deal with things that can be falsified that can be proven false and you can't prove a miracle false because a miracle can't be constrained by natural laws or by anything that could prove it false. Exactly. It's outside the realm of testing. Right. It's, it's, it's outside the realm of testing and therefore science. It's, it's a matter of, de- of, of definition. To, to allow for supernatural explanations would completely undermine the entire enterprise of science. But, but, but Steve, how, how realistic is it that these people... Uh can actually redefine science. I mean, how is that really going to have an impact 
on scientists and the way they do work. I mean, it, w- it could obviously affect education and, and how our kids are uh, learn science, but I mean, how, what, what kind of real impact could this have? I mean, well, you know, it's like redefining gravity. I mean, it's still going <laughs> to be there. Yeah. But you think it's true. I mean, the institution of science isn't going anywhere, but you have to remember that science is a cultural and a societal institution. It survives on the goodwill of the citizens of the society, and it will um, it, it, its success and its power will depend greatly on the public support for it. If you, you know, raise a generation of, of kids who have a complete misconception about what science is and how it works, these are the people who are going to be voters when they get older. They're going to be, you know, lawmakers. They're going to be in Congress, um, and there are some very concrete ways in which this kind of distortion of science can have an effect. For example, you know, who decides how, you know, where the billions of dollars of, of federal funding for scientific research goes? Should that money go to fund research into you know, miraculous explanations for things? Well, if you think that miracles are a proper subject for, for scientific investigation, then sure, you'll, you'll vote yes to, to divert millions or billions of, of, of federal funding to those things. So that's you know, just one example of a very concrete way in which this kind of distortion of science could literally erode the support of, of science. Right? I mean, science... Survi- Absolutely. Science, it's, okay, it's, it's fine to say that the abstract concept of science is not going to change because scientists still know what it is, but, you know, you have a bunch of scientists sitting around knowing what science is doesn't mean anything if they don't have any money to do, to do research. Mm-hmm. And that money is coming from you, typically politicians who have a public school education in science. I think it would be devastating to the students of Kansas on, on so many different levels, and not the least of which is if I were a college admissions officer, I would look very differently on an applicant from Kansas Absolutely. than I would from other, uh, from other states, to say the very least. And that's, yeah, that's true, and that's one way that outside pressure gets put on to these school boards. But I mean, wasn't Kansas, Kansas was ridiculed when this came out. I mean, there was like w- worldwide ridicule. People sh- all over the world shaking their head like, you've got to be kidding me. And I think that played into... Uh, into the scenario of, of of how things turned around there, albeit temporarily, you know, uh, when they had the uh, the following vote and they voted out a lot of these uh, a lot of these uh, fundamentalists from the board and stuff. I think that, I think that played a hand, you know, the condemnation that that they suffered. But it, you know, unfortunately, it wasn't very uh, long lived. The Skeptic's Guide to the Universe is produced by the New England Skeptical Society in association with the James Randi Educational Foundation and Skeptic.org. For more information on this and other episodes, please visit our website at www.theskepticsguide.org. For questions, suggestions, and other feedback, please use the Contact Us form on the website or send an email to info at theskepticsguide.org. If you enjoyed this episode, then please help us spread the word by voting for us on Dig or leaving us a review on iTunes. You can find links to these sites and others through our homepage. Theorem is produced by Kineto and is used with permission. Problem.